What's up guys, Sim here, and this is Street Race Talk number 14. And again, I apologize if you hear the birds, they just won't leave me alone whenever I want to record this. But today, we got a bunch of stuff to talk about. First thing I want to talk about though, is Kai Kelly. He had, or his wife had, another baby. It was a baby girl. I can't remember her name, but he had another child. Now, uh, for the street racing stuff, that was kind of, just wanted to put that out there, because he's a big name in street racing right now. Uh, Chief and Dave will both start street racing, and Doc will start street racing soon, because he has finished his car. The Street Beast is complete, from what I've seen, but I was wrong before, I thought he was going pro mod, because his car was all ripped up, but he wasn't. But he posted a picture on Facebook, and said like, the Street Beast something, and it was a picture of the Street Beast, and it was complete. It had a whole fiberglass front end, though. So that's, that's something new. It shows his car a lot lighter. But, so Doc will start racing soon. Dominator, we know, will start racing soon. Uh, Dave, we know, will start street racing soon. Chief said he's going to start street racing soon. And then if Chief's doing it, that means Kamikaze and Murder Nova will start doing it soon. But then Booster GT and Monza, I have no idea where they're at with their cars. Uh... Team Z was building Boosted DT's car, so I'm not sure how far they are with that. But Monza's car, they were putting, like, a new engine in last week, I believe it was. <coughs> yeah, because I talked about it in the last episode. And so that means that his car is close to being done. I'm guessing if they're putting the engine in to get it running, or they were just putting it in... Put it in. I, I pro, it's probably get. It's pretty close, most likely. So that means everybody will soon start street racing, and street racing will be coming back. But there actually is a street race going that's going on right now. Is Rusty Hook versus the Reaper SS? And Rusty Hook has been testing this week. I'm not sure about the Reaper. I haven't heard anything from him since the podcast. Actually, I haven't even listened to the new podcast. I'm going to listen to it after this. So they might have said some stuff in there. He might have been on there again. But Rusty Hook, he's been out testing. So that's good. I I think... Who did I say? I think I said Reaper would win. But if Rusty Hook's the one out testing and stuff like that, he's most likely going to win. Because he's getting prepared. And Reaper is probably just like, yeah, I'll, he thinks he'll just win easily. But I'm still excited for that race. And that's one of the first street races this year. Or of the season. So... Hopefully that'll lead to more races coming soon. And another thing I wanted to talk about was that I noticed Monza said it, Dominator said it, I think Doc said it, and Chief and Sean have done it before, I believe, but this is about Drag Week. I think it was on 1320 video, like when they were doing, it was a video called Life of a Street Outlaw. I believe I know Monza said he wanted to do Drag Week, and I'm pretty sure Doc did. Chief and Sean, they said in a podcast they were there out there like the first or second time they uh, Drag Week happened, like the first or second Drag Week. So I'm not sure if they're going to do it again. Chief has like a complete pro mod that doesn't really look like he's going to convert it to a pro mod like Tom Bailey's. Oh, and I wanted to say. I said last week that Chief and Tom Bailey will be racing two of the coolest pro mods there are, and Chief beat him. He won the race. I saw it. Tom Bailey's car didn't look well. Actually, I kind of can't remember what it looked like, but all I know is Chief won. I remember that. He got. I remember he got out on him and just won. So he's pro yeah, he was on drag radials for that. But Tom Bailey's pro mod, I, that's just so cool. I love that car. But back to... Street Outlaw is going to Drag Week. Um, I think it'll be really cool seeing them there. And also, Dom, oh, Dominator, he said in the the video 1320 did with him when he first had the twin turbos, he said like stuff like, yeah, I'm going to do try and do Drag Week and stuff like that. So that would be great. I love seeing their cars at Drag Week because that means you can actually see how streetable their cars really are. I mean, that would just be so cool, seeing people like Monza, ugh, excuse me, Doc, Dominator, fa uh, maybe even Boosted GT, fast guys like that on the streets, 
going to Drag Week to prove that their cars are street cars. Because everyone says the fastest, whoever wins Drag Week has the fastest street car because they can actually drive on the street, but then they don't race on the street. That's kind of like a big argument over what a street car is. Is it if you drive it on the sh- if you can drive it on the street or if you can race it on the street? I mean, everyone on Drag Week can easily race their car on the street, but the thing is, everyone that races their car on the street can't do Drag Week because they might not be able to finish. So, that's all for this week on Race Talk Episode 14. Thank you for listening slash watching. Don't forget to follow me on social media. The links will be in the description. Just tune in next. I'm still working on this outro. It's kind of choppy and bad. But tune in next week for Street Race Talk episode 15. And this is Sim ABC XYZ signing out.